All right, thanks for joining me. And in this video, we're going to talk about posting assignments to the stream and creating question type assignments in classwork. Now, in the previous videos, we talked about how to create your course and add students and then adding basic assignments to the classwork menu. But we didn't talk about the stream. The stream is a place similar to a social media feed that allows students to see what's going on in the classroom. So previously I had posted a quiz and a vocabulary drill and a test and those posts from the classwork menu as you can see them here showed up as posts in my stream letting students know that I had posted to this class. If students were using the Google Classroom app on their mobile device then they would also get the stream that they can view on their phone from the Google Classroom app or they could also get a pop-up notification letting them know that I had posted assignments to the stream. In addition, students would also get an email if they have the notifications for email turned on. Now this is great because it takes away all of the excuses that students can come up with for not knowing that an assignment has been put out there. In fact, to give you an example, this weekend my son when asked if he had any assignments to do, I was able to pull up Google Classroom on his phone and find work that he still needed to work on. So it's a great feature. Now, if you simply just need to put a post out there to tell students to remember to bring something to class or maybe a follow-up to the assignment that day in case you forgot to tell the class something, the stream is also a great place to put that message out there. So if you go to the bottom right of the stream menu and click the plus sign, you can choose an announcement. Now you may have noticed in the previous video for posting work that there's this reuse post option. If you have a post in classwork or in the stream from another class you can reuse that post here. But I'm going to create a new post so I'll just click create announcement. You'll notice this is very similar to the classwork option and we can choose which class this announcement is for and if this is one of those things that I forgot to tell the class today I can just tell all of my classes by clicking on each course that I want to send this to or if I just need to tell a specific group of students to remember a project that they're working on maybe they need to bring specific supplies for their project then I can choose the students here then on the share with your class section you just leave your announcement Now, since this is not a graded assignment, there's no due date, there's no point value, um, none of that. This is just an announcement to prompt kids with a reminder so that they can follow up with something in class. Now, I do have the option of attaching any document from my computer or from Drive or inserting a YouTube video or just a link. Now, that's great because sometimes announcements are just simply that. Maybe it's watch this video before you come to class tomorrow or review this website before you begin today's project. So whatever the case may be, you just go ahead and click the, the icon, attach your video. And here, this is an example of how to attach a YouTube video. So you just click on the video and click add and the students will be able to see the video here. When you're ready to post it to the stream, just go ahead and click post. Now the other option that we're going to talk about in this video is in the classwork menu, creating a question. Now for questions, this is a little bit different. The question option allows you to, for a grade, ask a question to the class that can either be a short answer, as you can see down here, or a multiple choice option. Now this is great for an exit ticket. Maybe you don't need to take a grade so you can actually choose ungraded on this. Uh, or maybe it's just a quick quiz of the students. And it's not necessarily meant to be uh, a right or wrong answer. It could be um, just gra grabbing your opinion, test checking for understanding, and you're giving participation points. And the reason I say that is because there is no way for this to actually grade it for you, you would have to hand score these options. 
So let's say, for instance, my question is, who is the father of modern biology? And down here, if I choose for this to be a multiple choice question, then I can put in options down here and I can say, you know, whatever I want to in terms of the answers. And so here I've got my options and it's a multiple choice. Now you'll notice that there's nowhere here that I can choose a correct answer. So that's one of the reasons that I said it can't be a graded assignment that is automatically graded by Google Classroom. It would be something that you would have to hand score. Uh, you can choose your instructions. You can provide a due date again if you would like. And then add a topic. And I'm going to add this to, uh, let's say, a topic called bell ringer and then I go to the bottom and I click ask now when students see this they will see a question that when they click on it they can choose the option that they want to choose and you can actually put this on the screen so that the students can see in real time or maybe you in real time can see everyone's response that's why this is a great option for opinion questions or again like I said, an exit ticket, so you can assess their understanding of the topic that you covered that day. When you're ready to grade, you just click view question, and then based on the student's answers, you can put scores over here at the left. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go back out, and again, because I gave that a new topic name, it is again clustered by itself. So we have daily work, tests, and bell ringer activities. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to create a copy of an assignment for each student worker. And then we'll follow that up with grading work in Google Classroom. So stay tuned for those videos. And if you have questions, feel free to contact me or check out my YouTube channel.